Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to the finale of my long-running CDDA series. Don't click away, new people. You can watch this standalone as well. Right now I have a zombie banging on my wall thinking he can destroy my stuff. So let's take care of this real fast. But uh, today we'll be focusing on finishing up our end of series to-do list. Starting with the vegetable garden. Now, you might be wondering why my roof looks like this, and it's totally not my fault. It's my fault. In a previous episode, I started to place the farm plots, but they were buried under snow, and I haven't seen them until now, that they are just blank tiles. So I hauled up all these logs using the sheet rope method, which is amazing. Thank you, comets. And I decided to just make the entire floor out of planks, which was a lot of work. And I basically went through the five stages of grief in the process. Weird, but oh, what? Okay. What happens if I do this? You know what? I'm just gonna fill this with... Cause something's not right here. I might have to go with a debug to fix this. I really messed this up. Like, big time. Since I'm building this out manually, if it's still bugged out when I'm done, I'll go into debug mode to fix it, I think. <sighs> Why did I do this? It's okay, it's gonna be fine. I'll make it be fine. I see some zombies hiding in my backyard, and I'm already in a bad mood, so I'm gonna go take them out. Brutally. With my axe. Here, zombie, 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 zombie. Psst, 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 psst. Oh, there's one. I feel like the weather really moves them around now, but I think that's just my confirmation bias, noticing it more often now. Alright, let's kill some fog zombies. Man, I love how powerful the axe is now. It's amazing. One to two hit kills. Legendary. I know there's more down here. There's sure, a lot of you out here. Hey, that that's a hunting zombie. Haven't seen them before. All right, any more hiding in the fog? All right, let's do a perimeter check because they're sneaking in these days. Some hiding over here. Stop breaking my stuff. Park ranger over here policing my toolbox in my yard. I'm just gone all day. They move around in this cell. When I go to the lake for fishing. Cell, chunk, whatever. Ooh, antidepressants. Don't turn down antidepressants. And then I accidentally killed one of my flamingos. Oh no. I think I killed one. I tried everything I could the next day to get her back, but it was to no avail. She was gone, unfortunately. Alright, duly noted. Don't put floor tiles under things. Blows them up out of existence. And so I finished the roof, 
It doesn't take too long, honestly. It just drove me insane to have to do all that manually when I already, already had a floor there in the first place. So I move everything, and then I put everything back in its place. Nice and tidy. And then we moved on to finishing the garden. You know, that thing we were trying to do from the very start. Anyway, um, I was going to make it so there would be no disease spread, but I decided against that. I wanted it to look more aesthetically pleasing, since I won't actually be playing at the end of this series. Cinder will live out her golden years in save file retirement. But now you're all caught up and I will leave you with present toad. Okay, so let's build our rain barrel in the center. It will look really nice and Cinder will be able to use it to water her crops if there's not enough rain. Hold on, I need more parts. Okay, here we go. Ta-da! Okay, I have acquired more dirt and we'll finish up the second plot now. Then we'll build the second rain barrel for this and it'll be good to go. I'm still salty about the patio roof. I know a lot of it is probably going to be edited out later, but it was so much work, oh my god. But I couldn't just have blank floor tiles for my farm. But it had to be done. It's just irritating. But I did it, and it's fine. And it looks like a home now, I guess. Rather than just camping out on the roof. I am sad I lost one of my flamingos, though. But what are you going to do? Now let's head downstairs and grab our seeds. Mmm, floor cigarettes. I'll take those. And we'll head back upstairs with all of our seeds and get to planting. Smoke a delicious floor cigarette. Good for the soul, bad for the lungs. Don't smoke, it's bad for you. That's my legal disclaimer. Let's shrink that out of the way. It's kind of obnoxious. Alright, let's dig the furrows. I'm not going to plant in all the plots today. I want to do uh, stagger them a bit so I don't have to harvest everything at once and everything rots. But I do want to dig all the plots today. Reminds me of old times, doesn't it, Cinder? You even got a worm out of that. Alright, cabbages. And carrots. And probably about a week from now, I'll plant this one right here. And possibly make a third one, I don't know. But that's it, folks. That's our garden. And we can use those rain barrels to water them easier. I'm gonna try to go hook these up for access downstairs right now. I'll have to move the sink. Hopefully it doesn't break. If not, I can replace it. Okay, that is not in the correct spot. You take up that. Oh, I need the pipe wrench. Busted. It's alright, I'll have to go get a sink. I'm sure there's gotta be something in these houses over here. Which are probably full of zombies, but we're gonna... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where do I hear you, but I don't see you? Okay. That scared the sh** out of me. I'm gonna hop the fence here and then get her. Cause she's gonna pass straight for me. Come on, lady. I'm 
Let's see what's happening in front of the houses before I... Just walk right on in. Can I see through? Ooh, that's a busy street. Let's go to the houses down here that I've already been in. They destroyed that fence. That is not where I wanted to go. jump here because it's pretty clear looking. Alright, it's looking nice and quiet. Unlike that horrible street over there. Bodies are gone. It's been that long since I've been here? Anyone in here? Please don't blow up. Nice. Okay. Let's walk back home. Alright, let's put in the sink. Oh, we gotta unpack it first. Love that sound effect they added. Alright, plumb the sink. Can't believe this is gonna work on the first try. Alright, so fill the bowl. Let's see. And it's clean! There we go! Water check. You know, if I had power running, I could probably actually use these, but it's not something I'm looking to do right now. But I have this working sink. This is wonderful. And it's not tainted. Let's go see how much we have upstairs. This is a big, big goal for Cinder to hit. 160 out of 160, that's full. 160 out of 160. One sixty out of one sixty. This is very exciting. So I think I'm gonna build another barrel. Since we know that those work. This one will start filling up. We should probably build our... Uh, composter. We need two more planks. No, give me my pipe wrench back and my fish. Next, I need to work on a defense system. I don't want to put a fence because that kind of takes away the excitement. It's also a lot of labor that I'm not willing to do on this wide of an area. If I was living in a regular sized um, home, I would do that, but it's not going to happen here. So I'm probably just going to put down graves as like a little moat system. So if there are large numbers, I can use that to defend myself. So let's go ahead and do that. It's 
not pretty, but oh well. It's important to protect ourselves. Wait, hold on, I want to light it up a street. Do, 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 do. And then... Okay, so let's start here. There are some nearby that might hear us digging, but that's okay. We can handle them. And in the future, Cinder would probably put a fence up eventually, but not now. She's still preparing this place to be a permanent home. Alright, good. That's one right there. And do note that the zombie stripping is not vanilla, as I once thought it was. It is part of Spear Traps mod. But I think it makes sense because they're not that coordinated. There we go. Not a perfect defense system, but it's better than nothing. We'll be able to slow them down if a lot show up. And we'll probably be able to hear them trip as well because it's pretty noisy when they fall. So, I think it's fine. It's a little open right here, but that's okay. So I've decided I'm not going to clean the yard. That would take me literally hours for like a minute, maybe, in the final cut. But I am going to clean off the wall vines and clean up the walls of the fire station and clean up the grass. I personally like the look of the wall vines, but this is Cinder's story, not mine. She'd want everything cleaned up nicely. Almost done. In fact, I think that's everything. Alright, I need a couple of planks for my composter. That's a bush, not a tree. Let's get rid of these trees and make sure no one's hiding near them. Okay. Throw this glass away. What was that? I don't know if that was real life or in game. It sounded like somebody breathing near me. That was weird. My window should. Probably just weird city noises, I hope. <whistles> Creepy ambient sounds of fog. That is some thick fog today. Let's throw our worm in there. I think we have a couple worms actually. Dinner no more. I eat real food now, worms. Haha. -ha. And I'm gonna leave this sack on the floor by it. Alright, garden is officially done. And our water system is set up. Thank you so much for watching. Here's a sneak peek for part two of the finale. I'll see you then. Don't forget, this is Genuine Toad, and I'm happy to have you here.